What is up YouTube? High Tech Lab here in the off-grid room today playing with this potentiometer. This is a 10k wire wound potentiometer as you can see here on the side. It's 10 kilo ohms plus or minus 5% and I had soldered these wires on and installed this and was about to use it as a voltage divider and how that was going to work is I was going to have positive on one end, negative on the other end and the wiper uh, and then I was going to plug that into a voltage transducer and send that into the PLC simply for the fact that the transducer is only rated for 0 to 50 volts and this off-grid system can range anywhere from uh, 40 to 70 volts ballpark range. Obviously 70 volts is things have gone critical. Unfortunately when I was wiring this in I was not familiar with with the pinout on this potentiometer and if you take a look what I had thought was uh, you have the one, two, and three. I thought the one was this contact here on the outside and three was this one right here and the wiper was the, the blue wire so the contact in the middle and unfortunately that's not the case. So when I applied power across the red wire and white wire and began cranking this clockwise and brought that wiper over that caused an excessive amount of current to run through the potentiometer as the resistance went down and had fried it. Now I'm going to try and take this apart but I wanted to share with you guys that typically on these panel mount style potentiometers the wiper is typically the one that's offset and kind of the oddball at the end so you can kind of think of it as the wiper is going across and into the middle but we're going to take this apart and see what exactly that looks like but I'm going to show you something interesting I have my fluke meter here and I'm going to set it to ohms mode ohms and I have my clamping leads right here so if we touch them together we should see pretty much zero ohms so I'm going to clamp onto the red wire and it doesn't matter which clip because this is just resistance and I'm going to clamp onto the blue wire and you'll see it has infinite resistance, meaning there's no path through there, uh, simply because the red wire is toast. It's no longer connected. It's burned up inside the potentiometer. But if I grab onto the other wire, you can see between wiper and blue, or the end on the left, as I crank it counterclockwise, you can see it still is working. But if I go far enough clockwise to where that arc issue had happened where it burned up the contact so you'll see there's a point right in here where it goes open circuit and that is the point where it had failed and the winding has gone open so as you can see it's it's no good in there it's it's going open circuit so the reason this doesn't work anymore is I can't have negative and positive and divide in the middle so this this could work as a variable resistor but no longer as a voltage divider application like I'm going for. So to get this guy open, first thing I'm going to do is get these leads out of our way. I'll go ahead and clip those off. And then I'm going to take a screwdriver and carefully, as you can see, there's a little piece of metal in here holding it on. I'm going to go ahead and jam that screwdriver in there and try and pop that off without stabbing myself in the hand. As you can see, I put the screwdriver in there and twisted, and it went ahead and unclipped that slightly. I'll do the same on the other side. And pry that clip off, and we'll remove the lock nut. And you can see it's starting to separate. So inside we have the turning mechanism right here and this just turns on its own uh, perfectly fine okay and then we have the back which is I believe the wiper assembly um, so we have that contact it had fallen this is the wiper so this right here is your wiper and this just makes contact with this plate here at the back And as it goes around and round and round, as you can see, it stays in contact with that back plate. And inside of here, you can see there's a really fine wire just wrapped hundreds and hundreds of times around. So I've zoomed in a little more and you can actually see right in here, there's a little burn mark 
and that's where that contact had shorted. So pretty much what happens is you have this wiper right here and this is engaged on the turning mechanism and this just drags along those windings. So off camera I've gone ahead and zoomed in and lifted a little section of this winding here and like I said this is a wire wound potentiometer so I can actually pry this out and unwind it and as you can see it's just one wire wrapped hundreds and hundreds of times around itself super super fine almost reminds me of like a guitar string and if we unwind it we come to the point where it had failed now I don't know if you guys can see but there's a little spot right here where it had actually failed so we had this much distance of connection across the 48 volt battery bank and it simply did not like that and this section is where the connection had failed there's a nice little burn in the winding right there if it'll focus I'm not sure but either way take my word for it there's a there's a burn there so what's really interesting is if we straighten this out you can see it's not very long but I'm gonna take a tape measure and hook it on this end and drag it out across the other end this winding is about 21 and 5 8 inches long that's about what I'm getting right here um, and that's 10 kilo ohms so if you figure ohms per foot I'm not sure what gauge wire this is it's it's very micro thin and part of it is actually starting to unwind right here but you think of how fine of a wire this is and the processes involved to get a wire that fine I mean it's it's literally finer than human hair and wound so many times it's quite impressive of a process you can hear if I run my finger by it all the windings but yeah I just thought that'd be really cool to share with you guys the inside of this potentiometer that I had fried um, here is more a uh, closer view on that spec if you're following along at home so uh, thank you guys for watching if you found this interesting be sure to leave a thumbs up if you have any questions hit the comment section down below or feel free to join my discord server uh, high tech lab the link will be in the description uh, but I thought this was a pretty cool thing to take apart I've never seen the inside of one and I've always wondered how they can get such a fine winding in such a small package like this so I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.